Hi there everybody, this is just going to be a quick little video just to give you the basics of how to play Aura so that you can start exploring it on your own. So you're going to hit play, it takes you to this play hub screen, and this is very simple, you all, the only button here is play again. But this will show you how far along you are in your progress in terms of like ranking up. It's a lot like a multiplayer game, if you've ever played a multiplayer game online where they'll have like a ranking system where you're in the bronze league or you're in the silver league. It works just like that, so you're going to be like going up and up in rank as you win more games. Um, so and and the game's challenge will be getting harder as you go So that's kind of a different thing for single-player games just that you need to know about so you're gonna hit play It's the only button here that you can hit as You get in here is a quick little thing just saying you need 15 points to win um, Shows up here on the top right that this is how many points you need. This is how many points you have uh, right here is your uh, your rival and he's gonna be talking to you throughout the match and so you see you're on this hex map and this is all randomly generated every time you play it's gonna be a little bit different um, the, these are just a bunch of tiles you can walk over um, and there's monsters and the basic concept of the game is you can walk over see so if you hover you can if you click and hold you can see get a preview of what will happen when you go to a tile so I can go this direction and then you see this whole map is surrounded by water and the objective of the game is to bump these monsters into the water like this boop see that so and i got three points so there i go three points boom um now why do you get three points well because i have this combo system here and it's a little it's not complicated but for now all you got to know is every time you move around it depletes see how it's depleting every time you move around and as it depletes this number depletes with it so you gotta get kills as quickly as you can, not in terms of like second to second, it's a turn-based game, take your time, but in terms of turn to turn, you gotta like kind of be efficient. See, as Quilsh notes right here, he's your tutor. So if you, you can bump monsters around. These are sleepy rats, because this is sort of like the tutorial level, so it's very easy. Um, but you may also want to use some of your abilities. So you have abilities over here, and you may be wondering, what are they? What do they do? Well, a really good way to find that out is to click on this. It's a little magnifying glass, and you can click on anything on the screen and get information about it. So you can just click here. It says, rotisserie, spin adjacent monsters in a direction, causing them to trail flame. Okay, that's cool. Um, this is dash, move up. You, you know, you can read these on your own, and they have a cooldown. We'll, we'll talk about that, too. So, but the idea is you can try these out on your own and see what they do. Experiment with them in these early levels where it's very easy um, and see what they do. So here I'm going to do rotisserie. Boom, that rotated these things around me in a circle. And now I can bump him in. And there we go. I got some more points. Nice. And there's a bunch of other effects that you'll learn that your spells have. But uh, basically, all the spells do something different. Um, I'm just going to use a couple here. This one throws a snowball, knocks somebody back, boom, made a little ice flow. Pretty cool. Um, you also have a candy, which is a one-time use thing. So now I should quickly explain cooldowns. You see these numbers here? Okay, so I gotta, I can't use these spells. This spell is on cooldown, you see? So if I want to ever use this, this spell again, rotisserie ever again, I need to pick up these things. These are called power tiles. Watch what happens when I walk over them. See? These start refreshing by one every time I pick over pick up one of these. So, boom! Now all my spells are ready. So that's that's kind of a basic thing about the game, is using spells, um, trying to use them in a smart way, uh, use them when you have to, and then picking these things up to uh, recover them. Now these things, when you pick them up, they never come back. So, uh, but here, so I'm gonna go boop. There we go. Got a bunch of points. Look at that. And, uh, so yeah, I'm gonna finish this one off really quick. Boop. There we go. Uh, let's see. Boop. 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 Taking some damage. By the way, that's something I should also tell you down here. The objective is to get this many points, right here, 13, or 15 out of 15, before I run out of health, which is down here. Right now I have five health left. These rats just did some damage to me by attacking me. Um... You get some tips if you walk over certain things. Uh, boop, boop. See, he just damaged me again. So that's something you got to be uh, aware of, is how monsters can damage you. Uh, I'm going to go here. And... Boom. See, I'm down to three health. Look at that. See, and he tells me, oh no, you're almost out of barrier. So I'm going to throw this snowball. I could also throw my rune snowball. Runes are one-time pickup things that you find on the map. They work other otherwise just like spells, but boom. 
There we go. Got the two points, and I won. And so then when you win, it says congratulations, and here's the next thing that happens. You get some experience points on your bar, and you meet new monsters, and you learn new spells. So that's basically the, the, the way that the first few levels will go, and that should be enough to get you going. Basically, it's turn-based. You're moving around. You want to bump monsters into the water, use your spells, collect power tiles to uh, refresh your spells, and try not to take too much damage, and you should start doing better and better. And if you want to learn more, always use that information button or watch the expanded tutorial that I'm about to follow this up with. Thanks so much for watching.